My name is Allison Smart. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm grateful Doug gave me a few moments to speak about Lovemir. In November of 2023, Novo Nordisk announced that it would discontinue production of Lovemir in 2024. Pre-filled injection pens will be discontinued in April and vials in December, but the press release stated to expect disruptions as soon as January of 2024. If Levomir is not available, my 15-year-old daughter with type 1 diabetes and many other people with diabetes, their options will be to choose between an insulin pump or the only two basal insulins that are available, Traceva, which is Degladec, Orlantis, Glargine, and Glargine Biosimilars. Traceva lasts too long for any who have rapidly changing basal needs. Also, some who use Traceva experience nosebleeds and upper respiratory issues. The Glargine options sting and have the dangerous potential of Lantus Lowe's. I'm learning that the ones who can make a real difference are our senators and congressional representatives. I'm hoping that they will write letters to Novo Nordisk, urging them to continue production of Levomir for a few years possibly packaged and distributed by a third party until a biosimilar can be created. The best way to avoid a near-term shortage of Levomir would be to pressure Novo to continue to produce Levomir until an alternate manufacturer like Civica could get this production up and running. We've worked on a petition and a Levomir handout. If you think of someone or have an idea of how to help with this effort, you can contact me at insulinoptions at gmail.com, and I'd be very grateful. Thank you. I'm Dr. Eric Westman, and I'm an associate professor of medicine at Duke University. And I've learned so much about how type 1 diabetes can be helped using the type of insulin called Levomir. And many people who've been using Levomir through the years will, won't be able to have as good as blood glucose control. It, they won't have as good a quality of life without Levomir insulin. And so I urge you to keep the availability of this insulin for our patients. Hi, I'm Belinda Leonards. I'm a pediatric uh, endocrinologist and I take care of uh, children with type one diabetes. Um, I've heard of uh, plans to discontinue uh, the insulin Levomir and uh, felt disappointed by it because I um, know from a lot of my patients that it helps them manage their basal insulin need in a more flexible way than the other options that are available to them. Hi, I'm Dr. Evelyn Bourdieu-Arroy. I'm Canadian. I work in the South Shore of Montreal. Um, I'm a metabolic health doctor, and my opinion is that um, every patient out there deserves to have all the options offered to them and they deserve to have an optimal treatment um, and to work with their healthcare professionals to achieve optimal results um, with the approach that they've chosen but they deserve to have options and Levomir is an insulin that is quite useful in the management of type 1 and type 1.5 diabetes and I think it would be really detrimental if we, if the company that makes Levomir stop making Levomir for financial reasons or otherwise, because um, I think as a healthcare professional, um, I think I need all the tools that I can get to get optimal results with my patients, but patients deserve to have all kinds of therapeutic um, options and some patients do a lot better with Levomir than they do with other um, insulins.